Plastic, the wonder material discovered by man as one of the byproducts of petroleum refining in the latter half of the 19th century and commercially tapped after World War II, has with every passing month found new uses to serve mankind. From household products to electronics, from communication equipment to auto components and machine parts in industry, plastics have become a vital part of our life and economy. If you ask me as a housewife, I would say plastics offers the best packaging and storage material, be it milk, oil or food grain. I trust plastics. Plastics are a very important part of our life. We can't imagine anything without it. Right from our toothbrushes to our regular containers, our credit cards, just everything is plastic these days. Come to think of it, this 21st century is the age of electronics. And you cannot think of electronics without plastics. Plastics is a part of our life here. Plastics are lifesavers. Earring age, toothpaste makers have plastics, which are good. Yeah, plastics are lifesavers because this is an intensive care area I'm working in. And uh, you are seeing that, uh, see, my uh, ventilator, uh, my ventilator tubings through which I am supplying oxygen to the patient, my IV fluids, even blood bags and my monitors, my uh, infusion pumps with, through which I am giving life-saving drugs to the patient, everything, everything is being made of plastics. We are using so many implants which are made of plastics. Uh, for example, we can say stints which we use in cardiology or many joints uh, which are made of plastic which we, we use which are kept inside the body of the patients for lifelong. So, I think plastic is a lifesaver. Plastics are environment friendly and are used effectively in agriculture for increasing farm yields as greenhouse cover for mulching, drip irrigation, rainwater harvesting and in a myriad other ways. I think we should think a lot before we put the plastic waste that pollutes the environment. Uh, we throw away all these bags into the drainage that chokes them. So we should be uh, more careful about that. City of Mumbai presently generating around 9,000 ton, metric tons of garbage per day. And it's really a, really a huge challenge before the municipal administration to keep the city clean. Delhi generates 7,000 tons of municipal waste daily. Kolkata, 8,000 tons. India's cities and towns generate 50 million metric tons of garbage every day. Landfills are very limited and are getting choked, turning out to be great health hazards. The solid waste management itself is an integrated system of keeping the city clean. That means we have to have the arrangements right from the house or source of the garbage, from the storage, collection, transportation and disposal and processing of the garbage. All, if any of this system is weak, if any of this link is weak, then the system may collapse. We expect that the plastic uh, component is around 6% by weight in uh, municipal solid waste. All the plastic is not causing the problem. We have observed that the small micron size bags they are creating the problem because its resale value is very less. Actually, it's like in Bombay, there are 15,000 women in Bombay, and there are a few men who are also living in Bombay, and there are a few children who are living in Bombay. So, there are 15,000 people who are living in Bombay. 
लेकिन इससे ही ज़्यादा और लोग उस उसका सॉर्टिंग उसका ट्रांसपोर्ट तो पूरे एक बिजनेस में बहुत सारे लोग साठ सत्तर हज़ार तक लोग से ज़्यादा भी हो गए शायद वो है म्यूनसिपालिटी ने उनको जो हाउस टू हाउस कलेक्शन है घरों घरों से जो कचरा उठाना है इस स्कीम में इनको लेना है क्योंकि ये बहुत महत्वपूर्ण काम करती है तो म्यूनसिपालिटी से हमारा यही झगड़ा चल रहा है कि इनको आप स्कीम में ले लो मुंबई म्यूनिसपैलिटी एंड प्लास्टिक इंडस्ट्रीज नोडल बॉडी The Indian Centre for Plastics and the Environment have joined hands in parts of Mumbai for door-to-door -door collection of segregated waste as wet and dry, using rag pickers who are organised by NGOs like Stri Mukti Sangatana and Force. The rag pickers are provided with sheds to segregate the waste. The recycling agents provide vans to transport the dry waste. Rag pickers get paid by the weight of the waste they bring in. On an average, they earn 80 to 100 rupees a day, and sometimes even more. The recycler, in turn, buys the waste directly from the NGOs. There is a huge recycling industry that is running parallel to the plastics industry. For instance, PET bottles are crushed and made into granules that go into making products such as combs, ropes, t-shirt fabric, carpet fiber, industrial strappings, mattress and life jacket fillings, plastic soda and water bottles and many more. Even plastic woven sacks such as these get recycled into other products after use. Industry has got the capability, it has got the technology, it has got the science to recycle all types of plastic waste, mainly thermoplastic wastes. They can be converted into uh, first they are uh, segregated and the segregated waste when it comes to the plastic factories are converted into granules uh, like this these granules are then can be converted into thousands of products Most of us are not even aware that so many of the plastic products we use in our daily lives are made of recycled plastic. Plastics can be recycled without any health hazard for a hundred years. In fact, there is a shortage of plastic waste faced by the recycling industry. It is no exaggeration to say that we can achieve a zero waste situation says Harish Dugar the recycling expert plastic waste which is not recycled or not converted into the waste uh, into the different products can go into making the plastic lumber uh, which is a wood substitute which can replace the wood which can replace the benches in the gardens which can replace the road fencings at the same time the plastic waste can also be used for energy recovery by converting the plastic waste in a, a calorific value of this energy the electricity can be saved which is in the short supply for the country and the last but not the least the plastic waste is also now being converted into the diesel and coal which is going back to the root even the most controversial and talked about low micron carry bags are now most effectively used in india by experts to make long lasting roads The plastic granules are mixed into the bitumen during road laying and this results in better durability at a lower cost. Annually, the Indian plastics industry recycles more than 2 million tons of waste. This also means literally creating wealth from waste by manufacturing over a thousand different useful products valued at over 15,000 crore rupees. In the process it gives employment opportunities to well over 3 and a half million people.
तो ऑल दी टेक्नोलॉजीज आर नाउ अवेलेबल टू द इंडस्ट्री ओनली थिंग इज रिक्वायर्ड द कलेक्शन ऑफ द प्लास्टिक वेस्ट फ्रॉम द हाउस होल्ड फ्रॉम द कंज्यूमर एंड ब्रिंगिंग टू द फैक्ट्री द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट वुड बी द सेग्रीगेशन एंड द कॉपरेशन बाई द सिटीजन गिवन टू द मुंबई म्यूनिसपल कॉर्पोरेशन इन सेग्रीगेटिंग दिग्रीगेशन एट सोर्स ये अगर की फैक्टर है इसका तो इसके लिए अगर म्यूनसिपालिटी ठीक से बंदोबस्त करे और उस वो जो रूल्स है वो लगाए और उनकी जो सिस्टम है वो उसके लिए गेयरअप करे तो बहुत सारे सवाल सुलझ सकते हैं